parents are more willing to let their kids ride a bike on a busy street with a protected lane than they are to let them ride a bike in their own neighborhood. This is according to new research out of Rutgers University. But are protected bike lanes actually that safe? The United States is considered the most dangerous country in the world to ride a bike. With an estimated 700 deaths and 48,000 injuries per year, U.S. cyclists are twice as likely to be killed as German cyclists. Looking for a solution, experts turn to protected bike lanes. The idea is to make cyclists safer, get more people biking, and to improve the quality of life for everyone. Do they do those things? According to the Columbia University research, protected bike lanes can reduce injuries by 25%. And a separate study found that cities with protected bike lanes have 44% fewer deaths than cities without them. In Austin, which has some of the most bike lanes in the country, accidents dropped from nearly 600 in 2012 to only 44 a few years later. And yet, ridership in Austin has remained pretty flat since 2007. But across the U.S., biking is on the rise. Between 2005 and 2015, the number of commuters cycling to work in several U.S. cities doubled. This coincides with the rise of bike lanes. But what about non-cyclists? Drivers feel much more comfortable driving near bikes when they have their own lane. So bike lanes are great, but let's go back to that original survey. Are they safer than your neighborhood street? Well, the bad news is there isn't much research into residential cycling safety. This either means that more work needs to be done or that there are few accidents, making these roads pretty safe for your kids.